boys and girls and anybody who's interested in Genshin Impact, really. We got developer notes, and we actually got some pretty sick developer notes. Now, granted, I still have my reservations. I still have many reservations in regards to this. But I did want to at least give it a fair shot because these do seem like really, really good changes. But we know what happened the last time we had some really, really good changes. It turned out that it was rose tinted glasses. And I'm hoping that's not the case. I really do want Genshin to step up their game. So today we're going to be talking about it. So if you like the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next Genshin Impact video comes out. And of course, don't forget to check out my sponsor, Gamer Subs. That's right, Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Where's that spicy graphic at? Three, two, one, boom. Put it up there. That's right. Yes, this hat came from Gamer Subs. Just saying, fantastic app. But we do have the Amelie drop happening today as of this recording slash release of this video. The uh, If you're a fan of Amelie, who is a voice actor for Honkai Star Rail, uh, Jingle Yu to be exact, and of course has also voiced Viper in uh, Goddess of Victory Nikkei, then you should take a look at the drop. It is absolutely mwah, chef's kiss. So enough shilling. Let's go ahead and talk about these developer notes. Okay, boys, girls, party generals, all that good stuff. So... These notes are gonna cover artifact auto locking feature. Uh, by the way, where is our, uh, where's the actual, you know, artifact sorting type stuff? Where's all that at? I mean, we have it, but yeah. You get what I'm, I guess you get what I'm trying to say. I don't know how to word it right now, but let's go ahead and talk about it. We got artifact lockups, uh, increased damage to certain elemental reactions, which is pretty big. So let's go ahead and first start off with the treasure compass thing, which I was not expecting at first. I heard murmurs. But when you hear murmurs, that doesn't mean exactly that's what's going to happen, right? So let's go ahead and look at it. Uh, Treasure Compass can now detect a wider range of tests, tests, chests, such as time trial challenges and sealies that have yet to return to their sealy courts. Now, this is huge for people who have been trying to locate everything in every region, including myself. Like I, I was trying to do that for the longest time. Um, and I kind of stopped. Well, I 100 percented every area, but I was tired of trying to find every single chest because it just got so freaking annoying missing out on stuff. And every once in a while, I find a Sealy roaming about. So to me, this is a big win for people who are trying to 100 percent areas and they don't have to worry about using uh, the interactive maps, the third party interactive maps, so on and so forth. They're trying to make sure that nobody uses the third party interactive maps, so. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the automatically swap treasure compasses. What this is basically saying is that there is a uh, auto swap feature where you could turn it on where it says enable quick swap. Man, I cannot talk today. Enable quick swap. And from here, what you're going to be able to do is actually like when you go from Mondstadt and let's say you walk into Leeway, boom, your treasure compass automatically switches to the Geo compass. That's huge there have been times when i've been on the outskirts of leeway and i'm trying to find all the chests like when i was trying to find chests for sumeru um there would be times where like i'm trying to search for these chests and it's either yeah it's sumeru i think it is yeah because sumeru automatically connects uh when i would search for sumeru and it was on the borderline of that and the outskirts of the chasm like there'd be times where i'd be like using the treasure compass and it'd lead me and then I would just sit there and I'm like, where did my treasure compass go? I thought I was still in Sumeru and then come to find out I just went on the outskirts of, uh, you know, the chasm slash leeway. So pretty dope. I like this. I like that feature. I, don't, I can't see anything wrong going with this. And neither the uh, the whole, you know, finding the time trials in the series. I don't think there's anything or any way that you could find something wrong with that. Unless they put a timer uh, of in the sense of like, you can only use it every five minutes or something like that, changing it like completely. Or you, you get what I'm trying to say, like not a timer. If it used like your, uh, like, uh, I don't know, man, it's it's tough to say. Like they, it, like they, like what they did with the freaking artifact maker. Like if they used a certain currency to do it, you know, it'd just be crazy to me. If they even did that, but I, I don't see that happening. It doesn't, it wouldn't make any sense. Artifacts now. Let's get to the nitty gritty of this uh, auto locking feature. Now upgraded, handle everything with a single click. 
to make it easier for you to manage large quantities of artifacts and to make it simpler to understand the use of the auto lock feature the feature has been optimized starting in 5.2 you could use the recommended lock plan once enabled you don't need to do anything yourself the system will automatic auto lock any artifacts that meet the requirements and if we look at this picture here i want to zoom in on this picture right so silly so so silly gosh darn it i want to look at this there we go or no what why does this thing suck so much right i want to look at this right why does it do this so much this sucks anyways we'll just we'll just read it from here this is the best way to do it hoyo hoyo labs fix your sight gosh sorry you can automatically lock five star artifacts that meet requirements and you can put in uh the planned settings any slot goblet with uh elemental damage bonus uh main effects you could basically like make this super super easy for you to save certain artifacts so uh to me i don't know if personally i'm going to use this because i like going through all my artifacts anyway i'm very meticulous with stuff but i could see this being good for others um so yeah there's that uh, the, rec the recommended general lock plan and set lock plan have preset auto lock fixes based on common applications. The recommended artifact plans will be adjusted in line with updates in the game. Okay. Uh, so it'll actually kind of show you uh, specific artifacts, what ones you're looking for, the main affixes to it. That's pretty cool. So you could kind of like, I guess, if you're looking for healers and you want to do main beloved you could just focus on HPs and energy recharge and you could lock it through that. I think that's cool. Um, artifact astral mark feature now available as well as using auto lock. You can now use marking features to filter your artifacts even further. Uh, this can be paired with the auto lock feature. So artifacts that meet your base requirements are automatically locked while those you chose to focus on are marked with a star artifacts that are not locked can be salvaged and used for mystic offerings. Okay. Mystic offerings will be automatically locked and given priority displays. I mean, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. I'm like, okay, that's not something that I was asking for, but hey, you know, cool stuff. Uh, feature for sorting artifacts in order of when they were obtained. Wow. So we get sorted by when we obtain them. And I think that works as well because there are times when like I'm looking for sp the specific stats and sure the three like stat roll ones and the four stat roll ones, it still shows the most recent one up there. But I think this means that you could like interchange it. So it's like all of them are intermingled and you don't have to worry about like, you know, oh, when do my four stat rolls end? And again, this isn't really something that I view as like game breaking, like, holy crap, this is huge. But I guess it's a welcome change for people who are really, really, like, upsetting spaghetti about that. This one I'm actually kind of excited for. So, weapon selection page optimizations. In order to make it more convenient for you to check the weapons you already have when obtaining new weapons, weapon amount, level, and refinement rank information will now be displayed on the forging shop and battle pass pages. Thank you! I was so sick and tired of having a crossword. I literally had an Excel sheet to make be like okay there's this this and this and i would pull it up to the side while i'm picking my weapons thank god that they have this now because jiminy christmas this was annoying to deal with took them four years to do this but i could say that this is a good feature right here so that's a thumbs up for me on that feature really dig that one uh serena teapot you could buy wood that's cool <laughs> like I mean, it's cool in the sense of, like, if you want to build vertices without going around and just hitting trees. But honestly, it doesn't take that long to farm trees. Just give yourself, like, an hour and you could farm a lot of wood. It's pretty dang cool. So, that's dope. Uh, what's more, the cooldown for using the boon of the elder tree will be reduced from 15 seconds to 5 seconds. Does it, doesn't that, like, double? Hold on. It's a boon of the elder tree? Boon of the elder tree effect. What does this do again? Grants players somewhat according to the number of trees in the area. Oh. Okay, so. Oh, so you don't even have to chop trees down. That's actually pretty pog, though. Okay. I welcome that. I'll have to use this more often. I, I, I gotta gather some wood, boys and girls. Here's something that I'm very 
excited for it. When I saw this, I was like, there ain't no way. And for all you little, little gremlins that were saying cryo bad, get this, okay? Based on the continued observations of different elemental reactions in combat, adjustments will be made to allow a wider variety of characters and lineups to shine. Starting from version 5.2, the base damage of the overloaded, superconduct, electrocharged, and shatter reactions will be increased. These adjustments have already been implemented on the version 5.2 test server and will continue and we will continue to observe the results to ensure the quality of the combat experience. Cryo's back, baby! Ganyu's back on the menu. That's right. My girl, where is she? Where is she? There's gotta be something Ganyu around here. There's got like, I, where's my Ganyu stuff? I gotta re-put it back up. Ganyu's over there though. You can see that. Ganyu, baby, she's back. Or at least that's what I hope. But anyways, I think that this is a welcome change because it felt like so many people, in, in, including myself, right? We were defaulting to you know, the aggravate teams, um, the aggravate te <laughs> uh, the vape teams, vape comp was really, really big. So it's very nice to see that overload after getting like Chevreus, uh, like get a little bit of a buff. Superconduct teams are going to be coming back. Electro charge shatter teams. I'm very, very excited for. So, uh, we're going to see a lot of really, really good stuff in regards to this, but it depends on how big of the increases they are. So if they're very minuscule, then it's not going to change anything, right? Imaginarium Theater. Increased Blessing Level buffs for Special Guest Stars. Starting from 5.2, the Blessing Level buff effects received by Special Guest Stars are increased to, by 100%. So how, what was it before? I never really paid attention to that. Like, no offense, but Imaginar Imaginarium Theater is cool and all, but at the same time, I'm like, meh, you know? We also got new character and boss tags. So you can basically put tags on which, uh, what characters can do in the Imaginarium Theater. That's cool. I mean, I don't really pay attention to that. Because again, I just pick my characters and pick what teams I think would do good. And I, I beat it. Um, number of characters in each category will be displayed. Ooh. Excuse me. Sorry about that. That's cool. Um, Again, it doesn't really change anything for me, but I guess in some ways, like it's better for when you're inviting characters, you can kind of like calculate, okay, I can get Hu Tao now and then I could go for uh, Kanich later or something like that. I don't know. At the same time, you could click on the boss's avatar to view their information to see which characters possess a tactical advantage. Oh, okay. that That's kind of cool, I guess. Can't really see it, but that's cool. I dig that. Pyro characters have an advantage. Okay. Okay, that's 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 all right. That's all right to me. New supporting cast record feature. Starting in December, you will be able to view a record of a care of the characters your friends have borrowed on the supporting cast. Okay, what does that do though? <laughs> like, I, I I hate to be that guy, but um, what does that exactly do? It just shows that people use my character. I don't know. Uh, what's more, in response to the feedback regarding completing all acts in one go, starting from five point two after completing at least three acts. As well as the dialogue with Wolfie, you can press the next act button on the finalization screen after each successful performance to continue your challenge. Cool. Imaginary Theater getting some buffs, but the main things for me, at least for me, is the Treasure Compass update. This is Pog because it makes my uh, craziness go down a little bit. Wood, fantastic. Learned what Boon of the Elder Tree did. Did not know that. And you guys can roast me in the comments. I don't care. Uh, but the biggest thing is these elemental reactions. I really hope it's as big as people are making it. Now, granted, I've been very skeptical as of late when it comes to Kitchen Impact. I know that a lot of people don't like me being negative, but at the same time, I'm not being negative. I'm being realistic on things that I agree and disagree with. I feel as though that's what makes a good content creator. So for me, there's a lot of good things from this. There really, really is. And I really, really hope that all of it comes without a catch, right? But we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. But that's going to be it for today. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you haven't done so already. Check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tyson for 10% off. Look at this hat, guys. That's so sick, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh I'm feeling myself. Anyways, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.